welcome. I'm Wolfgang Riebe, CSP. I speak for a living. I travel throughout the whole world speaking at big conferences and events. For most people, that's something that is completely frightening. And how do you do that? Well, it's easy when you know how. And I would like to share with you 15 free tips on how to speak better. After that, I'll introduce you to my course all about millionaire speaker secrets. But for now, how about just sharing some tips and ideas with you that you can learn to speak better. First of all, tip number one, know what you're speaking about. That's obvious. If you don't know what you're speaking about, you're going to be nervous. But when you know the topic, the subject, you're so much more confident doing it. And then, secondly, be what you speak. Walk the talk. Practice what you preach. It's no use speaking about a topic that's not close to your heart and then doing something completely different. If you're passionate about something, speak about your passion. Tip number three, stay informed and up to date. Update your presentation regularly and the topic you're speaking about. Know what's happening in the world. Keep yourself informed. And tip number four, and this is actually very important, is follow your own heart. Don't worry about what other people in the industry are saying about you. You know for yourself that you are comfortable with who you are and what you're doing. As long as it comes from a place with goodness and unconditional love, then you need to be content with who you are. Stop worrying about what others around you think. Tip number five is a tough one and people tend to forget this. But times are not always good. You're not always going to be working non-stop. There are going to be quiet times. So what do you do in these quiet times? Do you get depressed and worry about the good times that could be coming along? Or do you simply plod along and just be disciplined? You need to have a daily goal of how much marketing you're going to be doing. Who you're going to be approaching to talk. So even in the quiet times, you have to learn to be disciplined to keep on plodding along as there will be up and down times throughout your career. This is completely normal. There's a saying in life that goes, what comes around goes around. And this is tip number six. Do you hold all your product back and only want to sell? Or do you give a lot away? The more you give away, the more comes back to you. When you are attending functions and speaking on the platform, give away some of your books, your prizes, your gifts, whatever products you have. Because what are you doing? You're marketing yourself. Many people, for tip number seven, say that you need a good promo video. Now, if you're just starting out in the profession and want to be a speaker, you don't have all this material. Then I would rather say, just sit back, wait a while, do some freebies, and just have a camera crew with you and collect a lot of good material. You want your promo video to be high-powered, impactful, and showing you in front of a live audience. So rather collect that material and put together a really good promotional video. And don't be cheap either. Do spend a bit, make sure it looks good. Does the term elevator pitch mean anything to you? This is tip number eight. Imagine you're walking into an elevator, you're going up two stories. As the door closes, another person walks in that's an important agent or CEO of a company. They look at you and go, what do you do? You've got two floors in which to sell yourself. What are you going to say? Well, I'm a speaker. That's what I'm going to sell you. Do you have an elevator pitch that you can sell yourself in 10 to 15 seconds? If not, work on one now. Guess what? We all make mistakes. That's tip number nine. I never make mistakes. I did once, but I was wrong. <laughs> no, we all make mistakes. Be realistic. Be honest with yourself. The big thing is, do you learn from the mistakes or don't you? When you are on the platform, things might go wrong. If it goes wrong, Learn from it. Don't get flustered. Go, okay, what can I do next time that it doesn't happen again? Very important. Learn from the things that go wrong so you don't do them twice. Like any corporation, company or business, you as a speaker need to set goals. You need to set long-term goals. A one-year goal, a five-year goal, a ten-year goal. Where do you want to be in five years from now? You've got to write this down. As a speaker that speaks on goals, practice what you preach. That's what I'm doing. I always set long-term goals so that I know where I'm heading, so that I'm on an upward path rather than a just straight or downward path. Makes sense, doesn't it? Tip number 11 is very important. Have a catchphrase. Be known for something. When people look at you, what's the first thing that comes to mind? What are you known for? 
Do you have an accent? Are you tall? Do you dress funny? Do you have a certain giggle? Do you have a saying? Is it a piece of clothing that you wear that's different? When people talk about you outside your social circle, clients, companies, bookers, do they go, ah, that's what you're known for? Think about it. If there's a term, do they relate to you? So if they say change management expert, is that you? What comes to mind first? If they say strategist, what is it? What comes to mind first? You have to work on something that makes you unique and different, also known as a unique setting point. And that brings me to tip number 12. Do not teach from stage. In, and I say this in a very respectful way. Yes, of course, we have teachers and we need teachers in universities and in schools. But as a speaker, you're also an entertainer. You're there to capture an audience. Don't look down at the audience. Don't speak down to them. And don't preach to them as if you're a teacher in front of a class. Have discourse with them. Be comfortable. Make them feel comfortable. Bring them into what you're saying. Connect with them. Be entertaining. That is the difference between a teacher and a keynote speaker. Begin and end powerfully. There's nothing more I can say about that. Tip 13, start your presentation powerfully and end it powerfully. Incredibly important. 14, a lot of people think I'm weird. In fact, it's a given, I accept that. They see me driving somewhere on my own in the car and I'm motioning and I'm doing this. Uh, my wife walks into the study and I'll be standing and I'll be doing all this weird stuff. And if people don't know you, they go, what's wrong with that one? But you know what I do? I visualize my seminars. I visualize what I'm going to say when I'm on my own. I take myself with all my senses through the presentation. So that when I go and do it, I've actually done it in my mind a few times already. This just gives me the power and the confidence to present more confidently. There's a wonderful saying that goes, be brief no matter how long it takes. And that is the final tip, is tip 15. Please do me a favor, don't be long-winded. Keep it short and sweet. In that way, you keep an audience's attention. Well, those were 15 quick tips, and they really were quick, but they were very important. Follow those 15 tips, and it'll make a huge difference in your speaking career. I trust you've enjoyed those and that you've benefited from them. I'd now like to offer you my entire course called Millionaire Speaker Secrets. I have traveled the entire world, over 140 countries, spoken at dream functions and conventions, from speaking to five people in a room to 5,000 people in an exhibition center. It has been a phenomenal career. I've spoken at speaking conventions within the speaker industry. I've been a national president of a, a continent of a speaking association. I've got my CSP from the National Speakers Association. Not even 10% of all professional speakers in the world have this designation. What does this mean? It means I've made a success of my career. I've earned well and I've had fun at the same time. Over 27 years of traveling around the world speaking, I'm now going to share with you tips and tricks that I have learned that have taken me all this time to learn. I'm going to share with you over a 21 part course. This will change your life. It will teach you the tips and tricks to become that millionaire successful speaker. If that's what you want, check out my course, sign up, and we'll get to know each other really well, and I will take your career to a new level. From me, Wolfgang Rieber, thank you for watching, even if you just watched the 15 tips alone. I'm so glad I could share those with you. Until next time, from me, cheers.